BME AI Studio by Bosch SensorTech is a software application specifically designed for the BME 688 gas sensor. It allows us to collect recorded gas data, train machine learning algorithms for a specific use case, and then deploy an algorithm directly on the sensor. In this video, let's take a quick look at the necessary steps to get started and do a first algorithm training run. For this, we'll need BME AI Studio installed on our computer a BME development kit to record the data, and the BME AI Studio mobile app to test our algorithm. Let's assume we want to use the BME 688 to detect coffee beans, or in other words, distinguish the gas composition of coffee from the gas composition of neutral air. So in order to train an algorithm for that, we first have to record gas measurements of coffee and neutral air. Let's go. First, let's open BME AI Studio and create a new project. For our example, let's call it Coffee or Not. We need to configure the sensor board of the development kit, so let's select Configure and choose the default settings. Select Save to File on the bottom of the screen. We can save the configuration file directly onto the SD card of the development kit. Insert the SD card back into the development kit. We're now ready to record our gas data. If your kit is brand new, don't forget to let it run for at least 24 hours to stabilize the sensors before you start recording real data. Connect the board to power with a micro USB cable. The recording starts automatically. Let's record the neutral air in our room. After 20 to 30 minutes, press one on the board and record the espresso coffee for another 20 to 30 minutes. After that, press button two on the board and record neutral air again for a while. Then press button 1 on the board again and proceed to record the filter coffee. Done! Back in AI Studio, select Import Data and select the .bme raw data file on the SD card. AI Studio now shows us an overview of the data. Let's call this measurement session Berlin Specialty Coffee. As we can see below the plot, there are already four specimens defined one that started with powering on the board, and three that started when we pressed the buttons during measurement. On the left, there are input fields to label each specimen. We measured neutral air first, then espresso coffee, then again neutral air, and finally filter coffee. We could also define specimens manually here, if we forgot to press the buttons. Select Import Data to finish. The data is now copied to the project folder on our hard drive. Once the import is finished, you can see your four specimens in your specimen collection. The specimen collection is where we can collect and manage all our recorded data for a specific project. If we select one of the specimens, we can see all available details about this specimen on the right hand side. Now, let's go ahead and train our first algorithm with this data. Switch to My Algorithms and select New Algorithm. We can give this algorithm a name. Let's call it Coffee or Not. In our example, we want to distinguish coffee from neutral air. That means we need to teach our algorithm the difference between two classes, coffee and neutral air. So let's create these two classes. Select add class and give this class a name. Let's call it coffee. Next, we have to select the specimens from our specimen collection that should be part of this class. In our example, that would be the two specimens, espresso coffee and filter coffee. Now, let's create the second class. We call this one Neutral Air and select the two Neutral Air specimens to be associated with this class. Let's leave the algorithm settings at default and simply select Train. Once the training is finished, we can see the training results. The accuracy in our example is 97%. Down below is the confusion matrix, which shows the algorithm's performance. The rows show what the actual classes were, while the columns show which class was predicted by the algorithm. Let's try this algorithm in the field, using the development kit and the AI Studio mobile app. Select export and choose a location to save the files. Grab the .aiconfig and .config file and copy it onto the SD card of the development kit. Place the SD card back and connect the kit to power. Now open the AI Studio mobile app on your smartphone. Tap Add New Board and select the development kit. Tap Connect and choose Live Test Algorithm. And that's it! 
each of the eight sensors is now running our trained algorithm, making predictions about the current gas situation. It's showing neutral air right now. Let's see if it can detect coffee.